video is to show you how to change a fraction into a decimal. So say I have a fraction and I don't know what decimal it's equal to, I can do a simple division problem to convert it into an equivalent decimal. So for example, 5 eighths is the exact same thing as saying 5 divided by 8. Fractions are just another way to write division problems. Now, to make it into a decimal, all I'm going to do is I'm going to write 5 divided by 8 as a long division problem. How I like to remember that is I say, top dog goes in the house. So the top number, 5 being the numerator, goes inside the division house, divided by 8. That is saying 5 divided by 8, but sometimes we need an extra reminder, like the top dog goes inside the house. Now, if you know anything about division, you know that 8 does not go into 5. So I need to add a decimal and a 0 to continue my division problem. When I divide decimals, my decimal goes straight up into my quotient, 50. How many times does 8 go into 50? 8 goes into 50 6 times. 6 times 8 is 48. And I'm going to keep doing my division problem. Now, I'm going to keep going by adding a 0, bringing it down. 8 goes into 20 twice. 8 times 2 is 16. I keep going. 8 goes into 40 five times. You should keep dividing until you end up with a zero at the end with nothing remaining. Or if it continues to go, look for a pattern. Or you may round your decimal to the nearest hundredth place. In this problem, 5 eighths equals 0.625 evenly because I got a zero down here. Therefore, my decimal is going to be 0.625, and I'd rather you not round that to the hundredth place since it ended at 0.625. Let's try another one. Three sevenths. Now, top dog goes in the house. So three goes in the house. Seven goes outside the house. I add a decimal zero. Seven goes into 30 four times. 4 times 7 is 28, and I keep and I bring down a 0. I get 2. Here's where many people like to stop. They say, okay, I went to the hundredth place. But you have to keep going at least three numbers because you have to round to the hundredth place. If I were to keep going, Oh, man, it still doesn't terminate or end for me. So I can keep going if I want to, but my main rule is that you can stop after three numbers and then round to the hundredths place. So three sevenths is about 0.43 because that eight tells the two to round up. Another tip is I would just memorize this um, picture. These are the common decimal and fractions equivalents that if you start to memorize these, then you won't have to do the long division as much. A lot of people have come up with some tricks. For example, we know that 1 over 10, we call that 1 tenth. Well, this decimal, when I say that decimal aloud, it's 1 in the tenth place. So that's one tenth. Now, if I look at one fifth, it's twice the size of one tenth, so it should be two tenths. And if I look at that fraction, it is equal to two tenths. A lot of people remember the fourth by thinking about quarters and money. Those are pretty easy. One quarter is 25 cents. Now, one-eighth is half of one-fourth. So you can just split one-fourth in half, or you could do your division with top dog goes in the house. Once you know one-eighth, 
I can say 1 eighth plus 2 eighths is going to equal 3 eighths. So if that is 1 eighth, all I need to do is add it to 2 eighths, which is a fourth, and I would get 3 eighths. So some strategies for you are to do long division, memorize some of the common ones, or look for some number patterns to help you do some mental calculations.